Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael and in this video, I want to be showing you how to create the perfect thumbnail for your YouTube videos and I will also show you a nice trick that you can use regarding thumbnails that will actually make you rank higher in the search on YouTube, so be sure to check it out. Um, all right, guys. Um, so a lot of people ask me, um, or in general, are asking how to actually create a YouTube thumbnail, or um, yeah, if there's any secret behind it, and if it's actually important to give it a specific name or something like this, right? And it actually is. But first of all, I want to show you how to create a thumbnail, or how I create a thumbnail, which is pretty damn easy. Um, I don't even know why a lot of people, why so many people are searching for this because I did some keyword research and I know a lot of people are searching for it. So I'm just making this video right now explaining how to do it, okay? So personally, I use Photoshop to actually edit my pictures, right? And by the way, I used to be like a big uh, Photoshop kind of guy. I, I used to do a lot of photography back in the day when I was younger and stuff. And um, so I got some some good picture and, and photo editing skills and all of this kind of stuff right i know how to uh, change colors and and this make it look good and and add text and stuff if you don't know how to do this with photoshop or any there's actually uh different free open source software out there that is just as good as photoshop like for example there's uh, how is it called i used gimp back in the day gimp gimp or whatever they call it this is like an open source thing it's basically like photoshop you can simply download it and it will basically work the same it's pretty easy um just if so if you don't have photoshop just download gimp right here okay so i would just use photoshop though and um so i would just open this thing right here and then i want to show you what i do or how i do it so normally okay there are two ways that i usually uh, do my thumbnail. So first way would be I actually take an actual picture with my camera right here and the reason why I'm doing this is to make it like high definition, right? Uh, to make it like completely perfect instead of just using like a screenshot off the video, I want to take a picture because that just looks better, right? So the second way though is um, I will just go into the video right here normally not after I uploaded it, but in the actual video file, but I don't have it on my computer right now, so I wanna do it, I just wanna show it uh, to you guys on YouTube. I will go in there and search for like the best kind of frame and stuff that would be good for, for a thumbnail, right? So in this case, with this entrepreneur video kind of thing, I just took the picture of me sitting right here on the computer, right? Um, I take a little screenshot right here, and again, by the way, um, you don't have to take a screenshot, you can just take a picture of it um blah 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 and um and also depends though if you uh have a video where you like explain something as you can see for example um let's just take i really like the thumbnail that i had with my or did i use for my instagram video how to get instagram followers color that i should pop up right here i really like this one right here right um so it, it basically tells people what they will get and it looks good, like you see the notifications there. And same thing with uh, this video right here. Um, oh no, actually not, I really like this one, okay? So people know what they get and um, it looks good. So, but it really depends on what kind of videos you're making, right? If you're more the vlogging kind of guy or more like this video was made um, in a more vlogging kind of style, you wanna do some more creative stuff instead of like, as you can see right here, this guy right here has some nice thumbnails that are catching the attention of people. This is what you do for how-to videos. That, that works really good, right? So yeah, again, so you took the, uh, took the screenshot right here, put it into your Photoshop thing, and then, and I will show you some of my editing skills right now, then I would usually, um, and by the way, uh, excuse me for this being in German right here, but yeah. Then I would just edit like the contrast and all of this shit right here, make it look good. I will do something right right now. It looks weird, but I will do something nice right now. Wait a second. Um, 
Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so and then I would do this filter kind of thing. I know I have no idea how it's called, but I would simply go right here, bam, 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 do this, and oh, sorry, I would do this. Yeah, reverse it. Um, so this gives it the uh, effect um, of because if I put uh, if I put the font in there right now. Uh, blah 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 um do it in wide um if i do it like this without this thing i did right here um it kind of like mixes everything together right so it looks kind of shitty right so but if i actually add this i think it's i think on instagram it's called like fade or something that um i don't know i have no idea how to explain this shit right here really i don't um, but you get the idea. So if you don't know how to do this in Photoshop, which obviously most of you guys have no idea how to do it because you just don't have the experience to do it. Um, if you have no idea how to do it, you just simply go to some site that actually offer like Instagram or something that, or you use an app or something that actually um, gives you the option to use this kind of filter, right? So you can make it like this, right? And that's what I did. I actually just called it the name then entrepreneur versus a money maker or whatever this video was um, uh, yeah suck it um, yeah and that makes it look good right here okay um, so that's how you how you do it um, but this is only necessary like with the filter and stuff that I've shown you this is only necessary if you have an actual picture like like for example me right here sitting there if you have like just a normal thumbnail kind of thing so uh, for example if you just have a normal background right here normally um, I use white if you just have a normal background right here you would just have to make sure that you put a nice big that you put nice big letters right here and just tell people what the video is all about so that's really all you have to do when it comes to creating the thumbnail but the real important thing though is um, the thumbnail file name, okay? That's important for YouTube ranking, right? So that's what a lot of people don't know is um, YouTube actually also considers like the YouTube uh, thumbnail file name in the ranking algorithm, right? So when you save this stuff right here, so once you save your picture, um, I always save it as a PNG, okay, PNG, you would actually give it the same name as your video title right so if I want if I had a video title called how to rank YouTube videos uh, I would give it the exact same name right or even how to get you how to uh, rank YouTube videos tutorial if that's my actual title name for the YouTube video I want to give this uh, the same name of course it doesn't mean this will immediately rank just because of that but that's just one trick that you can use uh, to actually increase your rankings, right? This actually works. This is pretty uh, a pretty nice uh, thing right here, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, so yeah, that's how you create a good-looking YouTube uh, thumbnail. And um, hope you liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and see you soon.